Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I wanted to do it more like a vlog style. I'm sitting on my like vintage couch. Um, yes, I still have my Christmas tree up. I am gonna have a party with my friends on Saturday, so I wanted to keep my tree up just to keep like the spirit because it's gonna be like a, in Spanish it's called posada. It's kind of like a Christmas party, but we're gonna have it way after Christmas, but because of our schedules, like that was like the opening that we had. For today's video, I actually wanted to work, now it's too dark, there you go. Um, I actually wanted to work on my vision board and kind of like talk about like kind of like my goals and intentions I have for this new year. Yeah, I wanted to show you kind of like my vision board and share kind of like my thoughts and like my goals and intentions I have for the, for the new year. Um, and I wanted to do it more like a vlog style, more a little bit more chill because I feel like um, with the whole new year, I know that a lot of people uh, come up with a bunch of goals and resolutions. And I was listening to a podcast um, by Catherine Sel Sel Selkina. I always forget her last name, um, but it's at Manifest Manifestation Babe on Instagram. And I've followed her for a couple years now. She's like amazing. And I love her podcast. And she actually was mentioning in one of her... Um, IG stories she was talking about how we set like resolutions and we should be setting intentions so having the intent of actually like committing to what you're saying and actually following through with it um, and uh, that is something that I really 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 need to work on and something that I really want to work on this year is being more intentional and actually accomplishing or working towards the things that I say that I want to work towards or the things that I want to accomplish um, because I, I'm pretty sure this is fairly common uh, but you know sometimes you set goals and you say you're gonna work on them and then you just don't follow through and I'm the type of person that it's like that like I would in certain aspects of my life I do that I tend to self-sabotage and like just not follow through and it's a really I don't know it's like a feeling that you get that you kind of like let yourself down yeah and I'm like tired of like letting myself down and just I don't want to get too deep because obviously like I don't want to cry I'm very I'm a very emotional person and I thought this was a great opportunity to just let you guys know kind of like the goals and intentions I have for the new year and as well as show you kind of like my process of what I do when it comes to like creating a vision board as well as actually committing on a video with the things that I say that I want to do and the things that I want to create for me for myself this year and for my life okay so I want to go ahead and um, list out kind of like the things that I broadly want to um, work on for this year and kind of like I don't know more personal I want to say um, and I do want to share with those with you but I want to go ahead and found pictures on Google as well as on Pinterest of the things that I want to put on my vision board and have in mind a vision board is just kind of like a board where you put up pictures of the things that you want to accomplish it's not supposed to be kind of like a it doesn't have to be have a date so for example I put a house and like uh, that I want to print out and that doesn't necessarily that I want to you know it doesn't necessarily mean that I want to buy a house this year but it is something that I do want to work towards and that's kind of like the visual that I do want to have in my head as far as like how I would like my house to look like I would go ahead and found a bunch of pictures on like I said Pinterest um and I found a lot of pictures. What I would recommend is for you to take out a piece of paper and a pen and start writing down kind of the things that you do wanna focus on this year. For example, I did wrote down that I do wanna become healthier and do work and I wanna work out for myself because usually a lot of people around you, if you are overweight, like myself, a lot of people around you will tell you like, hey, like you have to work out, you have to get healthier. Um, but I do wanna create a more balance in my life. I want to obviously not deprive myself as far as like food and like obviously I don't want to work out like excessively but I want to find a balance as to like find a healthier um, like diet but still like enjoy the foods that I like again I said I want to be happy for me I want to find more happiness in the things that I do and do the things that make me happy um, because there's there are times that somebody would you know you do stuff for other people to see them happy and I'm not saying like do everything for yourself but you know there's some things that you have to do for yourself and be a little bit more selfish I did find a quote that says self-love isn't selfish it's important and I just feel like that quote like I don't know like it spoke to me a lot in the sense that you know sometimes like a lot of people see self-love as being selfish and I don't necessarily think that's 
right just because you care about yourself doesn't mean that you're just being selfish you just need to look out for yourself because you know you're in this life with yourself and you have to make sure that you're taking care of your mental health your physical health you know and everything that's part of you know that makes you you and i have be positive for me and others around me because you know there's times that we tend to be sorry my neighbors upstairs uh we tend to be a little bit more um, I want to say a little bit more on the negative side when things happen and I'm I can say that I'm a pretty positive person I am a very I have a very like bubbly personality so that comes with like being positive but there's sometimes that I you don't tend to put you know myself down or tend to think the, wor the worst of any situation just trying to have a more positive mind I did put be more intentional with money and that's something that I really want to focus as well this year I do want to be more intentional with how I spend my money and what I spend my money um, and think of the future I did put do the work to become self-employed something I love my job I absolutely love my job but something that I do want to work towards is um, I don't know I love social media and I love YouTube and YouTube, I've been on this platform for so many years on and off but it is something that it's has become a passion of my of mine uh, I love like filming like videos I love makeup and makeup in general it's my passion I just I love it and like for me to become self-employed in something that it's my passion like makeup and YouTube and just like that part I like it would be like a dream country so that is something that I really want to work towards this year I want to focus a lot more in that part of my life so let's go and print some pictures so I already printed all the pictures that I want to use on my vision board I have this is a um, Tombow Mono Dots Adhesive is kind of like a tape um, so it's just gonna this is what I'm gonna use to um, just glue those to my board and then I have my pair of scissors and then I have this board that I actually used last year for my vision board I just took out everything that's why they're a little dirty because it had like kind of like this taped glue to this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and cut my pictures I'll show you kind of like how I'm gonna be placing and organizing my vision board in a little bit okay so I finished my vision board um, and I'm gonna quickly go through like everything that I put and like why or like the reason behind I decided to put that there um, as you guys can see if it focus right here I have the banner to my YouTube channel it has the 100 plaque um, from YouTube, even though this already changed. I couldn't find the updated one, but that's just there. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, I have, it says, this quote right here that says, Go make an, imp uh, an income while making an impact. Uh, girl, you got this. I have this little tattoo that I found that I actually do want to get this year if I can. Um, it's just a girl pouring water into the flowers like on in her head um and i just feel like this represents so much uh like self growth and how it's so important to you yourself water your like your plants and just make sure that everything that you're putting inside your little head in your brain it's helping you grow every day um the thing the people that we follow on instagram or youtube the the podcast the music everything that we um, that we're taking in making sure that it's it's contributing to our self-growth I think that I love that tattoo and I found it a couple years ago and like I've been wanting it um, I have a little picture here of a house that I fell in love with I saw it oh, it's so pretty uh, my dream house I want like really big windows like this um, it's just I really like this like this house and I don't I don't know I just I liked it um, I have the car that I want to get um hopefully soon in the next couple of years um it's the jeep um renegade i believe it's no i don't remember exactly the name of this uh the jeep but that's the car that i want in black i love like black cars and then i have a little uh tony robbins and lisa car within little poster here uh i really really want to go to his conference that he has um he's gonna have it this year in san jose that's like a it's like an eight-hour trip 
from here San Diego, but I wouldn't want to go to the one that he has in LA. So I think he's going to come in the next couple of years. So I have here lives because I really want to go to his conference. I have um, obviously a girl like holding money because obviously that's, you know, I want to be able to be financially stable and be smart with my money and our money, me and my husband's. Uh, I have a couple girls here, kind of like outfits. Um, this is kind of like the vibe that I go for. That's it's, I, like, I just really like that style. Girly, but still like comfy, com like comfortable and like comfy, you know? Um, I have this quote here that says, um, creativity takes courage. And I feel like, you know, being on YouTube and just like uploading videos. I think I was covering the, the mic there. Um, like uploading videos and just putting yourself out there takes courage. And to me, you know, that's the way that I take out my creativity. It's just makeup and just doing videos. So I, I find this very like fitting <laughs> in my vision board. And then I have a picture of like four kids because I eventually want to have kids. Um, and I love this quote that I found. I just, I found it uh, earlier today. It says, it's in a, isn't it cool that one day you might have little people around uh, your house that are have you have you and have the person you love and then I have the picture of my me and my husband um I have this little thing that says family um radiate positivity I have my mom and my sister here and then I have my niece and my nephew here um I want to dedicate a little bit more time till I hang out with them because I know that sometimes you know like job and life just takes time from you and you don't spend enough time with your loved ones. So I, I put them here to remind myself to make them a priority as well. Uh, radio positivity, because like I said, I want to be able to be a, like, I want to be the sunshine, like, in my, in the people around me's life. Like, I want to be able to, for them to, like, if they need to lie on me as far as, like, being positive and just looking at the positive side at things, um, I want to be able for them to be able to, um, know that I'm here and see me as that um, I have never be afraid of change this kind of goes with the little tattoo girl here I have I'm sorry if, I'm sorry if I'm a little sniffly my allergies I have a little planner here and it says a go without a plan it's just a wish I heard this quote years ago that actually when I became kind of like into planners um, and I heard that quote and I don't know, it really stuck with me because it is so true. Um, if you don't put it to paper and then write down how you're going to attain that goal, it's just it's just a wish, you know? So you got to plan for it. Um, and then I have this little thing that says comfort zone and then things that make life worthwhile and interesting. So you have to get out of your comfort zone. So that you're able, like, you're enjoying your life fully. And I know there are a lot of things that can make you uncomfortable. But you got to learn how to, like, get out of your comfort zone. So that you're growing as a person. And just enjoying your life all together. I have a picture here of, um, this, is, this is Mykonos in Greece and Bali. I have a little airplane there and, like, kind of, like, a world map see the world i just i really these are the two places up on my bucket list that i really want to go to i don't know when it's going to happen but i know it's going to happen i know i'm like terrified of the ocean but i don't care like i want to go to those places um because it's just they're so beautiful um i have a quote here that says you must make the choice to take chain chance if you want to if you want things to change and that's again so true um, you have to make the choice every day and make the choice that you want to be better. Um, either you're going to go to the gym, so you got, you got to make, you know, make yourself go um, and take the chance so that you can make that change and that positive change in your life. I have this, uh, it says grateful for where I'm at, but I'm excited for about where I'm going. Again, true. Always look forward. Always be excited about the future and work towards what you want to accomplish. I have a little happy face. I don't know. I liked it. <laughs> it made me smile. Um, I have a quote that says, I'm going to make a very beautiful life for myself no matter what it takes. Again, just a reminder to always work towards the life that you want. Um, then I have a little section here that, um, again, I'm working. I'm going to be working hard this year. Um, and it's a little transformation. I have Khloe Kardashian here because I just, I, I love her like style and just her body transformation even though it was if it was surgeries or exercise or whatever it was it was it's an amazing transformation 
um, have a little plate here. Kind of wanted to pl find a plate with um, kind of like a balanced diet. So it's uh, it does have like spaghetti, which I love pasta. pasta. It has sal salads and like it has almonds and just, I don't know, I find it like very, um, for what I want in my life, like a really balanced diet. It says exercise not only changes your body, changes your mind, your attitude and your mood. And I, I mean, obviously... A lot of you may know, but like, I mean, exercise does change your mood and like, I just, sometimes you are too lazy, but you know, just have in mind that, that workout, like that, there's this quote that says, you will never regret a workout or something like that. So that comes from there. And then I have a little acai bowl here. So that's my whole vision board. I just want to focus on that for this year. Um, I know there's a lot of goals and, um, you know, things that I want to accomplish like this year but like like I said it's not gonna it's, this vision board is just a reminder for myself that I have to work hard and just keep w looking forward and looking at my goals and the things that I do want to accomplish and be intentional with how I spend my time um, like how I spend or what I spend time on what I spend time on listening on watching um, and yeah so that that is it for my vision board um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there as you guys can see i'm trying to broad the content that i'm bringing to my channel i want to bring more lifestyle um and um other content to my channel not just only makeup although makeup is like my passion like i said but i really hope you guys are enjoying the different content that i'm bringing and as always i'll see you guys on my next video bye